Hey guys, welcome back to This Is Emily Jane. I've got people around for dinner tonight and I'm gonna whip up a quick little vegan chocolate mousse pud. So I thought you show you, I'd show you guys the recipe whilst I'm doing it. So I'm gonna take over the ingredients and we'll get started. So we've got one can of coconut milk. It's really important that it's full fat. It's about 400 mils. And we've got 400 grams of dark chocolate. This is a dark chocolate that I buy from Lidl. It's sort of accidentally vegan. Only 35 beer bar, which is great. Then this is our last ingredient. It's called Aqua Faba. And this is the drained water from, the, from a can of chickpeas, which sounds disgusting, but it's essentially just a really protein rich liquid. Almost a bit like egg whites, but not the same. So I'm just gently heating up the coconut milk. I'm gonna heat it to just below boiling point. I've also chopped up all my chocolate and put it into a big mixing bowl. And when that coconut milk is just below boiling, I'm gonna pour it over the top of that chocolate and it's gonna form a lovely ganache. So we're just coming up to that boil with that coconut milk. So all I'm gonna do is take that off the heat and then straight over that chocolate. And what's that, that's gonna melt it all together. And I'm just gonna let that sit for a minute or two and then we'll stir it together and it will form this beautiful ganache. So that's been sat together now for about a minute and that hot coconut milk's had a chance to melt that chocolate. And all I'm gonna do is stir it together. It's gonna look a bit weird to start off with, but as that chocolate forms together with the coconut milk, it's gonna turn into this beautiful ganache. So just keep stirring and it will form a gorgeous chocolate gooey yumminess, which is gonna be the base of our mousses. So I let that hot cream sit on that chocolate for about a minute to allow it to melt and I stirred it together and it's formed this beautiful, rich, indulgent chocolate ganache. And we're going to leave this to the side whilst we get on with the next step and it will give it a chance to cool down. So the next step is to whip up our aquafaba with our handy dandy handheld whisk. If you don't have one of these then a normal whisk will work as well. You're just going to have to get some elbow grease but I'm going to let this do all the work for me so I've got it here and I'm just going to So that's whipped up now guys. It took a couple of minutes but just keep going we'll get there and that's reached nice soft peak consistency there. I'm just going to add the whipped aquafaba mixture a third at a time into the ganache and we're going to fold it in gently to keep all those lovely air bubbles that's going to give us that moussey texture at the end. So I'm just folding in my last third, just trying to be really careful not to knock any of that air out. Take this bit really nice and slowly, so I'm going around the edge and I'm just folding in that mixture over the top and just trying to incorporate it like that. This will make sure that that mousse is lovely and light and fluffy. So take your time here. And it's also really, looks really good, so. When it's all incorporated and there's no streaks of white, and I'm gonna put the mixture into these little glass jars for presentation. I'm just spooning this mixture into these glass jars to be really careful to try and not knock any of that lovely air out of this mixture. Also, trying not to spill it, but filming one-handed whilst trying to do this is quite difficult apparently. So here we go guys, it's finished. I left it in the fridge to set overnight and it's turned out just perfectly. I've just served it up with a little blackberry on top and a little bit of blackberry juice, but I'm gonna give you a shot of what it texturally looks like and tastes like, because so it should be nice and light and fluffy. And that's the whole idea of a mousse. Yeah, the spoon goes in nicely. And as you can see, there's all those lovely air bubbles. Like this. You can see it's nice and light and nice and fluffy. And it tastes amazing. So, but don't just take my word for it. Try it out for yourself. It's three ingredients. You can't really go wrong here. But I hope you enjoyed that. And uh, I shall see you guys soon. Bye.